Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Tonight to bring you the long-awaited Monocentropus Balfouri community video. For those of you who saw my Monocentropus Balfouri babies hatching out, I was so excited. Some of you might have seen a summer or two when I went and visited Schoolman and he had an amazing Monocentropus Balfouri community tank. Now, this is the first communal tank I've ever kept of tarantulas, and I'll be honest with you, overall, in general, I don't usually recommend this. However, I saw Schoolman do it successfully. He actually had Balfouri that he raised up in a group that reproduced and had babies, and all those babies were living communally. I will say that was a very nice custom enclosure that they were all living in. It was very naturalistic. They all had, you know, all natural burrows. It was really cool. So thank you for um, having me to come and see that. Schoolman, it was really neat. If you're hearing any white noise in the background, you'll have to pardon my heaters that are running. It is way below freezing and yeah, I don't want my animals to die. So normally I turn off heaters, air conditioners, air filters, the works, but it is just way too cold. So I do have a heater running in the background. So pardon that if you're hearing that. Well, without any further ado, let's take a look at the babies. Here is my little communal tank. And obviously it's not as big and fancy as Schoolman's because uh, there are no adults in here. I can see a molt right here that indicates that these tarantulas are growing and thriving in this communal tank. So that's pretty exciting. I can see, ooh, I can see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, probably at least 12 distinct burrow entrances. And I can see a couple little guys, they're just hovering right at the top here. I was hoping to be able to maybe tease somebody out so you could get a look at them. That might actually be a molt because it's not, it's not um, moving. Oh, there was somebody. You see that? Running underneath the, there's another little molt. There's another molt. So you can see quite a few of them have molted are growing up. When we open this to feed them, I can usually see, whoa, I can usually see quite a few of them running around. Oh, here's somebody who's thinking about coming out and investigating. Nope, you gonna run away? Smart, smart. At this age, you should probably hide rather than come out and see what's going on. I have some cocoa fiber, some moss, some larger pieces of cork, mulch. some larger pieces of mulch, and vermiculite, my tried and true substrate. The Socotra Island Blue Baboon live in very rocky territory. Here's somebody right at the edge. I'm going to try and see if I can tease them out. Mm, nope, mm, they're just watching. Oh, they're gonna grab my paintbrush. I don't think they're gonna come out. This is actually how I catch native tarantulas. I just, I don't like to dig out their burrows. Somebody at the top of this one too. I don't like to b dig out their burrows, so I just, um tease them from the top with a little tiny branch or something and get them to come out. And then when they do, I close off the top of the burrow and put them in a cup. And um, once in a while I collect them, but usually I just 
uh, take them and take a look at them and see if it's a, you know, the size, the species. And it's pretty interesting. Here's another molt here. I don't know how exciting this is for you to see because none of the animals are making any appearances here. But I do enjoy. So I'm feeding them and we'll see if we can coax any of these guys out. As these crickets run along, they have a nice little net of web there. They can feel those vibrations as prey items walk across the web and you can see there's quite a few little young crickets who don't know any better who are just walking right across there. We also have really bright lights on them as well as, you know, me with my big booming voice on top of all the burrows. So they may not come out and feed, unfortunately, while everybody's watching. Might have been wishful thinking. Go ahead and comment below if you're very interested in seeing one of these little slings. And I can do a follow-up video in which I do take one of these babies out of the burrow and put it in a little clear container or and I, I hold them at this age I don't have any concern about them biting me and you guys can take a closer look as I mentioned I believe these are called the Socotra Island blue baboons and they are not uh, colored up with their adult color yet, but I still love seeing their furry little legs running all around. Comment below how many babies you think I have in this community and whether or not you would dare try to start a communal tank of tarantulas. Hope you guys like this one and I'll see you next time.